The Quick Move is a uniquely designed, non-powered stand aid used for transfers with patients that are able to stand and bear weight, but may have impaired balance or weak leg strength. It is important for the patient to have upper body and arm strength to assist in pulling themselves to a standing position. The ideal patient can bear weight, lean forward, and compensate for weak legs with upper body strength. Patients should be able to follow simple instructions and not be confused or combative. The Quick Move Stand Aid is used for seated or standing transfers, early gait training, activity tolerance testing, bedside exercise, and functional assessments. The Quick Move can be used to transfer from a seated or standing position to and from a chair, toilet, bed, wheelchair, or car. The Quick Move is delivered fully assembled and takes minutes to remove from the box to begin using. Before using the Quick Move, all operators should carefully study and understand instruction guides, including accessories, as well as complete the Quick Move competency checklist. In addition, the patient care plan should be reviewed for patient's activity level and any contraindications for using the Quick Move. Assure that the use of the assistive equipment and accessories are in full compliance with the patient care plan. The Quick Move has a manually operated leg widening function, which accommodates many different chair widths. Standing behind the Quick Move, use the foot plate pedal to open the legs by pressing on the left pedal, and close them by pressing on the right pedal. To lock the brakes, push down with your foot on the brake pedal. Brakes should be locked on both sides. To unlock the brakes, push forward on the brake pedal. The foot plate is easy to take off and put back on, which allows for ambulating as well as for cleaning. The seat cushions are easy to fold up and down to allow the patient to stand and then sit down on the seat cushions. When additional space is needed to accommodate the patient, the seat cushions may be turned out to the side by placing two fingers under the seat cushion and lifting up while swinging to the side. The seat can be adjusted up and down by pressing the release handle. To adjust the seat up, ask the patient to stand up or lean forward while pressing the release handle. To adjust the seat down, ask the patient to sit back while you press the release handle. To adjust the shin support, turn the knob to the left to loosen, and then adjust the shin support up or down so it is just below the knee. The shin supports can be adjusted in closer to the patient or out. To accomplish this, turn the lower knob to the left and adjust in or out, and then tighten to the right. Now we will demonstrate the various ways to use the quick move. In this example, we will use the quick move to transfer a patient from the side of the bed to a wheelchair. This process will apply when transferring from any seated position to any other seated position. With seat cushions raised, move the quick move to the patient sitting on the side of the bed and ask them to place their feet on the foot plate. Lock the wheels of the quick move. Now ask the patient to pull themselves up to a standing position and put the seat cushions down. The patient now can sit comfortably down on the seat cushions. Unlock the brakes. If the patient appears weak and may lean back too far while seated, the flexi move with support straps should be used for added support and safety. Apply flexi move behind the patient using support straps. Attach the support straps to the frame of the quick move. With the wheelchair locked, move the patient on the quick move to the wheelchair and spread quick move legs as needed. Ask the patient to stand up and raise the seat cushions. Before sitting down in the wheelchair, release the support straps. Do not do this when the strap is tight as the patient may fall backwards. Help the patient lean forward. When the straps slacken, open the buckle and slowly help the patient to a seated position in the wheelchair. When you help a patient to the toilet or commode, move as close as possible and then apply the brakes. Now the patient can undress themselves or you may assist them as needed. Some patients may require that you stay with them. If suitable, let the patient have some privacy. For safety, remove the quick move and leave the bathroom. Another benefit of the quick move is helping someone move back into their chair. Position the quick move in front of the chair and ask the patient to place their feet on the foot plate. Then, ask the patient to pull themselves up so they are not touching the seat. Then push the quick move forward, placing the patient back into the chair.
Sadly enough, many patient accidents happen while walking. Some patients may trip from being weak while others lose their balance and fall. The quick move may be used in a safe and simple test to determine the weight-bearing capability of the patient. We call this the functional weight-bearing test. The test consists of five subtests for standing, leaning sideways, heel lifting, foot lifting, and time trial. The quick move is a tool to test capability to stand in a safe way. Always apply the brakes during this test. Ask the patient to pull themselves up to a standing position. If they are able to, then move on to the next test. When walking, you naturally lean from side to side to be able to move your feet. The leaning side to side test will verify the patient's capability to perform this task. Ask the patient to lean from side to side. If this is okay, go to the next test. While walking, we lift the heel while taking a step, which this test will verify. Ask the patient to lift their heels, left, right, left. If this is okay, go on to the next test. Check if the patient can lift their feet, left, right, left. If this is okay, go to the next test. Now it is time for the final test where we want to find out how long of a time the patient can bear weight. This test is very important and not only assesses the patient's strength and ability to bear weight, but their endurance as well. This test will help determine the patient's ability to walk for a certain duration of time. In this test, we will assess the maximum time that they are able to stand and bear weight. The last and final way that you can use the quick move is as a bedside exerciser. To save time, we use the quick move as a mobile exercise unit by the bed or wheelchair. The patient can stand and sit from either the bedside or wheelchair. If the patient performs this test well, we can lower the bed to make the standing exercise more difficult. Never leave an unattended patient in the quick move. A patient needs to be able to bear weight and hold on to the quick move. If there is a risk that the patient suddenly could pull his or her legs from the foot plate, then use the calf straps to prevent movement. Brakes should generally be unlocked. If there is any risk that the patient will fall or lose balance, use the seat cushions and support straps with FlexiMove. Never leave the quick move in reach of a patient sitting on the toilet. If the quick move wheels are difficult to move or rotate, then check the wheels for dirt or hair. For all other troubleshooting concerns, contact your maintenance or biomed department. If not available, contact your local distributor. Or call the System Romedic National Service Center at 866-276-5438 or by email at customerservice.usa at handycare.com or info.usa at handycare.com. Routine cleaning of the quick move should be done with common surface disinfectants, such as water-based ammonia compounds or quaternary compounds. Do not use products containing phenyl or chlorine, since the parts may be damaged. Assure that all wheels are free of dirt and hair. Regularly check that the bolts are tight. Regularly check that the brakes are working. Regularly check the product for damage. If you have any questions or comments, please consult your local distributor or system romantic specialist. The quick move should be thoroughly inspected and serviced when needed, at least once per year. Pay particular attention to parts that show wear, such as joints, bolts, welds, and wheels. Service must be carried out according to the system romantic service manual and by authorized staff. Repairs and maintenance may only be done by trained and certified personnel using original parts. When storing, keep the quick move at a temperature above freezing and at a relative humidity of no more than 60%. Taking the time to remember these simple procedures will pay off in years of safe and comfortable lifting for you and those you care for. If you have any questions or comments, please consult your local distributor or system romantic specialist.